Good morning, another exciting morning today. We're on our second mission with Chivo. Chivo. And uh, today is going to be a little bit windier than last time we went out, and hopefully that brings more fish. Usually, usually it does. While the boys were getting the boat ready, we headed out to look for some bait fish for the day. We've got Louie up the front here, he's about to try and catch some bait fish and captain of the bait fish boat, Louie, <coughs> as well. Let's hope we get some. Dale para adelante. Let's go Louie. Ahí endereza hacerlo. Está bien, páralo, 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 páralo. Si lo voy a tirar ahí, voy a coger la piedra, brother. Mira para allá. Ay, cogí la piedra. Toma. Valga, ahora sí quedamos varados. Ya me lo déjalo, déjalo. Mira que mucha va por ahí. Ah, vamos a coger para la piedra otra vez, men. Todo dale para atrás, gemelo. Antes que te trepe. A ver, ayúdame. Now that we've got our bait fish, we started to head out and it didn't take long before we come across our first bunch of May May.
As we're driving out there, we come across these frigate birds, and this is what you look for when you're out fishing for May May, these birds flying around. They put us onto this bunch of May May. A bit further and it didn't take long before Louis spotted some more frigate birds. Fuercita para el frente, para el frente. Ahí, para el frente, para que no se cambie. After landing these May May, we decided to set up and get back on the move again to see what else is out there. After Freddy landed this nice wahoo, we had to get the rods back in the water very quickly.
Dígalo, no pare, no pare. ¡Lo traigo muerto! ¡Mira eso por el salto! ¡Mira eso! ¡Dale, dale, que se cae! ¡Mira! ¡Mátalo! ¡Mira la maceta aquí!
espérate, espérate. an awesome day's fishing. Uh, one of the secrets to our fishing was we come across these boys. Now these boys are called a FAD, F-A-D, Fish Attracting Device. Uh, we worked out that this must have cut loose from Dominican Republic and floated towards Puerto Rico. And we decided to put the camera under the water and take a look. And sure enough, there was a lot of fish about. Playing around with the cameras underwater next to the fad, it was time to start heading back. What a day! That was just incredible. I've never had an experience like it. And uh, we ended up with uh, roughly 50 mahi mahi and I'd say 20 or a bit more uh, wahoo. And, uh, that was my first ever time to catch a wahoo as well. So uh, that was just brilliant. It was probably our last trip while we were in Puerto Rico, our last fishing trip, and it was definitely one to remember. We want to say a massive thank you again to Chibo for the second invite. And uh, these boys really know how to fish. It's just incredible. If you ever come to Puerto Rico, make sure you head out for a fish. It's definitely worth it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Clean up all these fish. We had a few bait fish left over, so we decided to feed some tarpon that were hanging around the back of the boat. These tarpon were about one metre to one and a half metres long, and Rob decides to try and hand feed one.